out of his can from time to time. And um, when I was in eighth grade, um, I met some friends. First of all, I liked uh, Florida, like big time. Um, and I lived in a Gulf Breeze. Fantastic place. And um, I did some fishing and stuff there uh, with some of my friends. I had a friend named Jackson. Um, Nathan, too, who I, I still know. Uh, great guys. I think I had a, a guy named Ryan Smith, Ryan Armstrong. Yeah, so we hit it off. Hey, we were more of like gamers and stuff. Um, at least Jackson and the two were Ryan's. Nathan uh, was cool. He, he was my uh, drinking and smoking friend. You know, we, we would just hang out, chill, talk. Uh, we'd fish and, you know, smoke, you know, drink too. But, 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 uh, the entire time, um, I'd have to hide it from my parents still, because they would not let me smoke or, you know, drink or dip. Um, in eighth grade, I, I had some fun times. I think I got there in, I think, uh, the second some semester of that year. Uh, it was a fun year for the most part. Uh, I forgot to t tell you um, about when, when I st started playing bass. Um, I was actually in Kansas at the time. I'm gonna, you know, backtrack. Um, I think I was 13 uh, and I played for about six or seven months until I moved. Um, but in those months, um, me and my friends started a band. Um, so I actually learned the, the, the bass pretty quick. Um, No lessons or anything. I was completely self-taught. Uh, at the time, I was listening to bands like um, System of a Down and stuff. Um, every day, I would just learn songs, play. Um, I um, me, me and my friend actually entered into the talent show. Um, this was pretty damn cool. Um, I practiced for, oh my gosh, I, th I think about three or four hours a day, uh, until then. Uh, it was in the summer. And I learned the Super Mario Brothers theme on, you know, um, on base. Um, uh, we're supposed to pull a head in unison. So at the same time, right? Um, and I, um, learned a solo. 
Uh, it was called NIB from Black's Abbott. Uh, it sounds fantastic. I'm going to give you a um, little sample of that right now. <laughs> So I played that, and you know, afterwards, everyone was complimenting my friend. See, except the thing was that he he was also uh, uh, supposed to play his own and pussied out on me. Yet, um, he got all the compliments and shit, so I was just like, fuck that, fuck that dude. So after that, I quit the band, um, and a few months later, me and a few of my friends were down at the uh, river, we had uh, hit us a fire. So, and my d d dad calls from Alaska, um, and he says, um, how would you like to move to Florida? I was a bit scared because when you live in a small town uh, and everyone who lives there has lived there for so long, uh, the thought of moving is strange. Uh, because it really is a cool host uh, society there. Um, so, you lose who you go by. Uh, I had to say goodbye to my life a long friend named Austin and uh, Dakota, who uh, actually recently passed away on um, August the 29th. Uh, he was in a motorcycle accident. So I had to say goodbye to him. Um, and then I moved. So that's when I moved. Um, Everything changed, or I started shipping. Then back where we were. Um, so I was an eighth grade. Music was still a big part of my life there. Um, so I entered in uh, the talent show you had again, uh, except I was the, the only um, music. I knew there. Literally, from my time in Kansas and Florida, um, I was the only bassist um, in town. So I entered in uh, the talent show and I did all right, but still it wasn't enough. So I met a guy named Colton. Ah, it's starting to rain. Son of a bitch. Keep going. So I met a guy named Colton um, at the, the, the rehearsals. Uh, he played some guitar. And um, we formed an actual band. Um, we were like-minded, uh, sort of dumb at the time. Uh, we were still true album makers and shit, but so we. We, um, God 
damn it, I lost my train of thought.